This afternoon, people across our state and the nation are remembering Joe Lieberman. He was a longtime Connecticut senator who made a huge mark on American politics. Channel 3 chief political reporter Susan Rath spoke with those who knew him well. Joe Lieberman was born in Stamford, Connecticut and became one of the most well-known politicians. I mean, he really was as decent a person as you find in, in this business. Tom Ritter, a former Speaker of the House in the Connecticut General Assembly, remembers when Lieberman was a state senator. He says Lieberman was always sincere. Joe Lieberman also had big political plans. He was Connecticut's Attorney General. He also ran for Congress and then U.S. Senate. He quickly became a national figure when he was chosen in 2000 to be Al Gore's vice president. Six years later, Lieberman ran against Ned Lamont for U.S. Senate. Lamont won the primary, but Lieberman ended up running as an independent and won the general election. Most strikingly about Joe Lieberman is that he was a fighter. He stood up for everyday Americans and people of Connecticut, leaving a legacy. His legacy was not without controversy. Lieberman was a lifelong Democrat, but his support for the war in Iraq was unpopular. And then, when he endorsed John McCain over Barack Obama for president, it was a decision that isolated him from the Connecticut Democratic Party. Doobie McDowell, a former WFSB reporter, says despite the rift, Lieberman brought something unique to politics. When Joe Lieberman was on the ticket with Al Gore in 2000, America was really exposed and educated about Judaism because the national uh, news covered the fact that this was a candidate who kept the Sabbath holy. Lieberman, an Orthodox Jew, was steadfast in his faith and his wife Hadassah. He was always active in politics. Just last summer on CT23, he spoke to WFSB's Eric Parker about his No Labels campaign. Ben Proto is the chairman of Connecticut's Republican Party. Whenever you were with him, you always felt good. Even if you were disagreeing with him and he always left you feeling good about the encounter with him and spending time with him. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The former senator's funeral will be held tomorrow in his hometown of Stamford, and we will be there to bring you live coverage starting on Eyewitness News at noon. Also, an additional memorial service will be announced at a later date. We'll